The Spring Valley Library is a public library branch within the Las Vegas Clark County Library District. While it is a smaller branch, it works hard to accommodate the needs of its diverse patrons. The main demographic it serves are families composed of young parents with young children, though there are also a number of singles or couples without children in the area. Immigrants are another important group of patrons that Spring Valley looks to serve, as over 20% of the population in Clark County were born outside of the United States. Over a third of people five years and older speak a language other than English at home. The Young People's Library has collections appropriate for children of all ages. Of course, there is a diverse selection of physical and digital materials available to Spring Valley patrons. There are books, audiobooks, CDs, and DVDs available in a number of languages. As part of a larger library district, Spring Valley is also able to provide access to many ebooks and audiobooks. There is also a gallery in the library where local artists are able to showcase their work for free. As of this presentation, the exhibit is called Twisted Yarn by Eileen Pascoe. There are also resources available online, such as VetNow, a resource that provides job and academic help for veterans transitioning to civilian life. Another of the important services the library provides is access to computers and especially the internet. Patrons are able to borrow Wi-Fi hotspots, which provides unlimited data anywhere that T-Mobile has coverage. In addition to providing internet access away from the library, there is a Wi-Fi access in the building and 41 computers that patrons can use for anything from filling out job applications to doing homework. Roughly once a week, they host a program called Device Advice, where patrons come with their own technology and computer lab staff try to help them learn to use it. There are also other programs for adults such as monthly book, music, and writing clubs, each of which are hosted by different staff members. In an effort to serve the needs of many families, there are numerous children's programs. These include weekly story times for different age groups, as well as science, technology, engineering, art, and math, or STEAM programs on a regular basis. There are dedicated staff located in the computer lab specifically to assist patrons with this technology. They also provide support to local students with programs such as free homework help. Partnerships sometimes provide parents the chance to take workshops about topics such as, for example, what to do before their children start kindergarten. Spring Valley has also partnered with the nonprofit organization Three Square Food Bank to offer free lunches to children under the age of 18 four days a week. As this overview of services and resources has shown, the Spring Valley Library works hard to provide for the needs of its patrons and has a number of strengths. The Library District it is part of, LVCCLD, was awarded the National Medal for Museum and Library Services Award in 2014. Pictured here is then Executive Director Jean Goodrich receiving this medal from First Lady Michelle Obama. Furthermore, the Spring Valley Library specifically has received positive reviews on various social media websites like Facebook.
As the branch manager, Leah Simonelli, puts it, the staff are truly one of the greatest strengths of Spring Valley Library. There are, however, weaknesses it must contend with. There are some aspects that are unlikely to see any changes because of physical constraints, such as the limited parking and space of a relatively small building. In addition, library staff are not trained or able to do everything that the public wants. During tax season, for instance, many patrons taking advantage of the free forms and instruction booklets look to staff for advice that they simply are not qualified to provide. With all of the positive resources and offerings that are available from the Spring Valley Library, there is also the threat of changing economic and political situations that can affect their commercial growth and development. The local competitors that provide similar services, such as free reading and multimedia materials and other resources, puts a strain on some of the Spring Valley's programs, which could potentially threaten their existence and further advancement. There are also a number of opportunities for the Spring Valley Library to do and provide more for its patrons. The Community Resource Center, for example, is a very good idea currently in its infancy that could very well be expanded upon in the future. In addition, there is also the opportunity for digital expansion. Public libraries must remain relevant in an increasingly digital age, and one way to do this is both by offering more online services and helping patrons with little experience of technology to become more acquainted with it. Coming up with a new set of programs in this area would be helpful to the library patrons. In acknowledgement of the opportunities and areas for improvement, we have a strategic plan to offer the Spring Valley Library. It is based on a special emphasis with specific desired outcomes. First, we want to provide more opportunities for patrons to offer feedback about library services and resources. This can be accomplished by implementing an annual survey open to all patrons and staff anonymously and asking patrons to complete short evaluation forms following library programs. Second, Spring Valley should provide increased access to technology. Money should be set aside to acquire circulating laptops, e-readers, steam kits, additional Wi-Fi hotspots, and a portable makerspace. There should also be an effort to provide a wider variety of educational resources. For example, the current ESL Kids program should be offered more often and for a longer period of time. More effort must go to diminishing the digital divide by providing technology assistance classes and programs. For example, there will be a new children's program involving LEGO Robotics geared towards providing children with hands-on technology and engineering knowledge. The fourth goal involves increasing the awareness and usage of library resources and services among marginalized and underserved groups. Part of this requires staff to plan and participate in four or more community outreach programs per month attempt to bring in more partnerships, as well as marketing campaigns, including on social media. As mentioned above, the Community Resource Center can be improved upon. First, staff must be frequently educated about the resources and services it provides. It's also important to increase awareness about the Resource Center to those who could use its resources. The most drastic improvement would come from collaboration from outside organizations. The sixth goal involves maintaining and increasing the customer service skills and general knowledge of the staff. Training should be offered related to these goals. In addition, steps should be taken to increase the number of staff members with a master's in library science.
Finally, because of the problem of limited parking affects the ability of patrons to utilize the library and its services, there should be efforts to diminish the negative impact of the small parking lot. The district could partner with the local transit authority to spread awareness to community members about using public transit. This option is very convenient with the bus stop being right in front of the library. On this slide, we just have a couple of thank yous. We wanted to give a shout out to Carl Terreros for his beautiful pictures, our branch manager, Leah Simonelli, for her detailed thoughts and direct quotes, and the entire Spring Valley staff for letting us use their images and just being so generally fantastic with us during this project. Thank you.